Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo T, and today I have a video showing you how to make this cute little Animal Crossing Island inspired figure. And this is out of polymer clay and two part resin. So first I have this cylinder container mold that I got from Miniature Sweets and we'll use this for the base. So I'm going to mix my two part resin and mix it very slowly and carefully so there aren't too many bubbles. And then we're going to pour that into the mold and wait 24 hours for that to cure. And once 24 hours have passed, we took it out of the mold and here we have our clear container. So then we're going to start making the island. So here I have a ball of orange brownish clay and making sure it fits in the container. And what I'm doing is I'm taking some square chopsticks and I'm making indents along the bottom of the island part and this is just a guide so then I can use my blade and cut out some wedges and it's because the island kind of icon that we're using to inspire has like the little grooves of cliffs so we're trying to imitate that and I'm just taking like a clear plastic stick and I'm just using that to smooth out the little indents that we cut out and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the little island in half. Then we're going to take a ball of light green clay and we're going to cut it in half again. And we're going to attach that half onto the other half of the island that we created. Then I'm taking a pale light green color, it's different from the other light green that we used and I'm rolling it really flat and thin and with my blade I'm going to cut it out into little triangles. And I'm going to be doing the same thing with lime green clay as well. And then I'm going to attach the triangles onto the green part of our island and I'm just putting them randomly throughout. Next we're going to make our coconut tree. So I'm taking some light brown clay and I'm rolling it into a cone shape and cutting it into different slices. And then with some tan beige clay I'm doing the same thing, rolling it into a cone shape and cutting it out into multiple pieces. And then we're going to assemble the palm tree stock by alternating the different pieces together. And then we're going to re-roll it into a cone shape to blend in the sides. Then I'm taking a ball of yellow clay and I'm slowly flattening it gently into a rounded pancake shape. And we're going to place that on top of our tree. And we're going to place the base of the tree onto the middle of our island. For the palm tree leaves, we're going to take some green clay and we're going to pinch it into a teardrop shape and flatten it out. Then using our palmer clay blade, we're going to make two indents on one side of the leaf. And then using my color blending tool, we're going to make the indents a little bit more rounded. And here we have our palm tree leaves. And then we're going to attach it to the yellow part of the palm tree. And once assembled, we want to bake according to label instructions. And once fully baked, I'm just taking some UV resin and a paintbrush and I'm just painting on a layer of glaze. And then once that is cured, we're going to make the water. So I'm mixing my two part resin and adding my blue pigment. And then what we're going to do is we have to kind of have the tree balancing. So I put a piece of tape on with a container, pour it in the resin. And then with some two chopsticks, I held the palm tree island in place into the resin and let that cure for 24 hours. And once it's fully cured, we have our floating animal crossing miniature island on top of some resin water figure complete.
And this tutorial was inspired by the Animal Crossing loading symbol after you save. It's like usually on the bottom right side of the game. So that ends our video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you all for watching.